Unit 5, Trigonometry, Section 5.4, Finding Lengths of Unknown Sides in a Right Triangle. Yay, we've moved past the pre-skills, now sine, cos, and tan actually get to be useful. So a little bit of review. Remember, anytime we're working with sine, cos, and tan, I want to see Sokotoa written at the top of your page. Why? Because it gives you your formulas. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of theta is opposite over adjacent. And just in case you have trouble remembering which side is which on a triangle, let's review that too. So at the moment, these only work with right triangles, and you have to be looking from an angle. So I'm going to look from this angle up top here. Let's start with the hypotenuse. Remember, the right angle points at the hypotenuse. That's that side right there. The side on the far side of the triangle from my angle, that must be my opposite. And last but not least, the leg beside your angle is the adjacent side. All right, let's use these. In these examples, you're asked to find the unknown side. And in this case, it's the side with the variable. I need to find that side. Now the question doesn't tell you outright whether to use sine, cos, or tan. So let me go through how you'd figure out which one you should use. Let's start out by labeling the sides of the triangle. The right angle points at my hypotenuse. If this is where my angle is, so if I'm looking from that 43, this y is on the opposite side. And on the bottom, that's my adjacent side. Because it's the leg that's beside my angle. Let's write down our Sokotoa, which I want to see on every page. Right now, let's figure out if this is going to be a sine question, a cos question, or a tan question. Now let's look at our sides. I know my hypotenuse, so I'm probably going to use that in the question. I don't know my opposite, but I need to find it. So I'm also probably going to use that one in the question. I don't know my adjacent side, and at the moment, I'm not asked to find it. So the adjacent side is not an important part of this question. So if I go over and look at my sine, cos, and tan ratios, my Sokotoa, anything with the adjacent side is not going to be useful to me. So cosine, it has the adjacent side. Well, that doesn't do me any good. Tangent uses the adjacent side. That's not going to be useful to me. But the sine ratio, that's got both the opposite and the hypotenuse. That's the side I'm going to use. This is going to be a sine question. All right, let's write our formula down. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Let's put in the pieces we know. In this case, I know my angle. So instead of theta, I'm going to put in that 43 degrees. I don't know my opposite side, so I'm going to put a y in there. But I do know my hypotenuse, so I'm going to put a 3 in there. If I put the sine of 43 over a 1, I now have a cross-multiplying question. And we've already solved questions like this. So let's finish it off. I don't want to have to lug that sine of 43 around, so I'm just going to turn that into a decimal. Sine of 43 equals 0.682. Let's cross multiply. When I multiply those out, I end up with y equals 2.0. I just used the sine ratio to find the length of that missing side. That missing side is two units long. Now my question didn't have any units. So my answer doesn't have to have any units. In the real world, there's going to be units, though.